Okay, we're going to do another one of these PGA timer videos. This is a uh, federal PGA timer, which stands for Programmable General Alarm Timer. It's like a one-third of an AF or AR timer. It's got one cam, one motor run cam, and uh, the, these, uh, the actual timer cam, this one is notched. I think they came like that from the factory, but it says in the manual you can get cams cut for different signals or I don't know if you're supposed to cut those yourself, or I guess, I mean, yes, Federal did it. Uh, Federal would cut those. Uh, it's got the clock motor, relay, test switch, and uh, the timer activation switch. Uh, I had to make a back for this. This one didn't come with a back. Uh, Dave up in uh, Melrose, New York, sent this to me. This used to be hooked up to their Thunderbolt up there. Uh, the only thing different here is I've added this terminal strip so I can hook up a 120 volt switch circuit. I've hooked up 120 volts to run the Model A for this little demo, so I'm going to run that real quick and uh, see how it sounds. This timer is a 240 volt timer. This is, I think some PGAs were uh, 120 and 240 but this one's 240 only, so uh, put the cover back on it. <clears throat> so front, it doesn't have a cancel, uh, but I can cancel it just by unplugging the siren, so it's not hardwired in. It's, I've got a, a plug coming out of the top of it, like an extension cord end. Uh, well, I guess I need that bottom screw in there. Anyway, so it's uh, power's on now and it's plugged into 120, so we'll hit the hit the test. And uh, then we'll go ahead and uh, hit the alarm cycle button. The uh, Model A is down there. There it is. We'll go ahead and hit alarm, and I think it's got a little bit of a delay before it comes on. It's cycling now. for a two minute cycle. Eight seconds on, four seconds off. Anyway, that pretty much gives you an idea of what it does. Another exciting video.